you an Android and draw on it. It's based on the Vogella.com website. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to create a new blank application in Android just to illustrate this, and it'll have an activity called uh, Write on Screen. Write on Screen activity. Oops, not in the right place. Oh, there it is. Write on the Write on Screen activity. Okay, it'll have its layout and everything, but it's not super important at this point. We'll finish that now. We'll have to create a special view. This this whole thing is about creating views so that you can put them in your activity. This is a custom view, right? So this custom view, this custom component will be this canvas where you can draw with your finger. So these are other projects there that don't have anything to do with it. The project is coming up. So we'll have to create a separate view class that will allow drawing. This view will react to touch events and draw the path um, of the fingers to its surface. There will be an object called paint, and that represents actually the actual brush. Okay, so let's um, let's go there. All right, here's the test drawing uh, uh, application. Let's go to the main package here to the source. We'll add a new view here. <clears throat> we right click and say new class. Uh, let me see if Android offers views. Nope. So we'll just say it's going to be a new class. New class. And it's going to be called touchant view. It'll extend a view here. We'll extend a view. Okay. And we um and we'll finish this. Now we have to add a few things here. So here's my touch event view. We'll start adding a few things. So we'll create two um two important things. First, the paint object, which is the brush, and the path, which is basically when you want to draw a line, you want to draw a path. That's that's what it, or a line, or anything. It's a path. Okay, so we'll create two variables. Private paint come on. paint paint, and that's going to be a new paint. And then we have private path Lower key path, lower key path, oh, here. Path equals a uh, new path. All right. Then we're going to have the constructor here. Public touch event view. And this is basically uh, following the, the super class constructor. Okay. Context. Context attribute set attribute set attributes. And in here I'm just gonna call the super class with the context and the attributes. And then I'll just set it up a little bit. I'll I'll just say the brush will be set anti-alias. So that basically draws a little smoother lines. Um, how about we set the color of the brush, set color, and then color white. Let's set the color to white in the brush. Paint, uh, set stroke, um, set the stroke. Join um, pain dot join dot and then let's say round. So when when you this this basically <clears throat> when you change directions with your finger when you're painting that corner is not very sharp, is it? Instead, it's round. You can also do paint um, set 
style set style and that will be pane.style dot stroke right so basically um, this is what you want to uh, draw and then let's set how thick this is going to be set stroke with uh, I know five float okay five pixels so we've set the the stroke here now we're going to every view draws itself every time with an on draw event so we have to override this this is part of view okay protected void on on draw uh, not protected protected Projected void on draw. I'm going to pass a canvas here. That's what this inherits. And then we'll just draw the path, whatever path we have. Canvas dot draw path. I don't know if you can read this, but there are a lot of methods to draw a picture, and you can put a picture there so you could place pictures in the view. You could draw points, you could draw a lot of things here. So just take a look at those methods. They, they will provide a pretty good um, idea of what, what happens here. And that's going to be, we're going to give it a path and a paint variable. So it'll draw a path that we will define later. The path is up here. We'll define that later. And with the paint properties, with the brush, with this brush that we just set up in the constructor. Now, what remains is to set this path, like how are we going to draw the path, right? And for that, we're going to use an event, an untouch event. So we're going to again override a method, and it's going to be public boolean. Um, well, again, no. Boolean on touch event that receives a mo motion event. event okay that's that's how you override this guy on touch event so what we're gonna do is we're gonna the points here are floats so we're gonna have float um, X position it's gonna be event dot get X and float Y position which is going to be event dot get Y okay so basically when there is a touch I'm gonna have automatically that reports the X position and the Y position on the on the canvas on the view so now we're gonna do something depending on what the touch event was we're gonna react differently so we'll do switch event that get action that's gonna tell me what happened and then event that get action and then I'm gonna say you know well case the this was a motion event dot action down right so when I put my finger in there what's going to happen is I'm going to say path so the movements of the brush move to and then I'm going to move to that position to X position comma Y position okay so if I if there's an action down, if I just put my finger there, I'm going to start, I'm going to move the brush to that position, okay? And then I'll return true. Now, in case this is, uh, in case this is motion event dot um, action move, which is basically when you drag it, okay? Action move. What we'll do is we'll say path.line. Now, now my path has a directive, which says create a line to this uh, X position, Y position. Okay? So now I'm going to draw the line. I'll break. And then in case this is a motion event um, action up meaning I lifted my finger then I will do nothing I'll just break okay do 
nothing. Finger lifted. Okay. Now, <clears throat> by default, I will return false. So if it was none of these actions, I'll just return false. Okay. Now, the other thing is whenever this happens, I want to redraw the screen. And to, that, to do that, you have to schedule a repaint, right? And the way to do this, a repaint, the way to do this is you say a method that comes here for free is invalidate, okay? Um, we invalidate that. And then we return true. Return true. Basically, it invalidates, you know, the whatever had and then returns true. This will redraw it. So we have our on touch, our touch event um, view. We have it so that it uh, it contains the methods appropriate to draw on my on touch event and uh, it constructs, it basically sets up the brush at the beginning. And this is a view that I can use then in my activity. So let's go to the activity and see how this is done. In the activity, in the right on screen activity, what I will do is I will uh, here the, in the uh, on create, okay, set content view is not going to be my R layout activity that I had on my XML. In this case, the activity is coming from a class. So it's going to be a new touch event view with this context and null for the attributes. Okay, okay. So we'll just save this. Now I'm going to run this uh, as an Android application. And it'll take a while, and then you'll see this. Uh, you'll see this work. So I urge you to run this. For this view, I just set the background color to black. So then I'm drawing white on black. That's all. So now I'm going to run it, and um, we'll see it running my emulator in no time. So I had it there, but so we can we can do more stuff in it and we can draw okay so that's basically the line if i if i throw it really quickly it's going to be um it's going to be a fast drawing and more straight this is our drawing application you can now draw squares and paint circles there's a lot more um to to know how to paint and what what paths to do okay bye